It is a midsummer day in July, and uh, the temperature may be in the 90s, but the real feel is definitely over 100. And today we're setting up the gantries, so new location, plenty of room, so here we go. been talking to the camera too much today just because it's really hot and uh, also Madison only had so much time before she had to go back to work to teach so um, we we're just trying to knock out as much as possible but now the battery's about to die because the camera's overheating so I'm gonna try to walk you through as much as what we did as possible and then we'll have to pick it up later so um, Madison and I went ahead and constructed one of the gantries um, it's still missing the uh, support pieces up here and here just to make it more stable uh, side to side and then this makes it stable like front to back so we still need to do that for this one and then we still need to finish constructing the other one uh, but it's looking really good um, oh and for anybody who says you know like oh when am I ever gonna use this type of math in the real world bam here you go I had to use math um, so Katoa and Pythagorean theorem um, to double check my work to calculate how long these pieces need to be for this right triangle right here and um, yeah there's my math 42.4 inches so I rounded up to about 42 and a half inches and then double checked it here um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared uh, which also came out to 42 and a half so then I cut all my support pieces to 42 and a half and it worked out so thank you so much Miss Jensen for teaching me important math skills and so kids listen to your math teacher. we haven't really been recording because one it's super hot and two it's super hot so <clears throat> what we've done so far is built one of the gantries like it's it's almost completely done um, we got it standing upright and we have uh, the cross beam going on up there but we need we just need to finish reinforcing it and then um, we'll build the second one and hopefully we can record a little bit more while we're while we're building the second one so you can actually see the process of us building it um but yeah that that's that's what our goal is if we can get them both done today i call that a good day Okay, um, so the camera shut off. Sorry about the wind. The camera shut off, so I don't know how much it recorded, but we finished the first the first gantry entirely. So this is the part that you saw me build in the backyard at our house, and then um, we brought it here um, to finish the top part. So um, we put the cross beam on, we put the little metal brackets on, um, and then we put two uh, braces up top on each side. One is two feet long, the other one is four feet long. 
these are 42 inches long so um yeah now we're gonna build the second one we'll do this one a little bit more like hands-on that way if for whatever reason you're crazy enough to build one of these at home you can see how we build ours so first thing laying out our parts um so like i said these are the the, the main like bases that we built at home two two by sixes that are each six feet long and then we have um, a piece of four by six I think it's like I don't know four inches wide um, that we cut off of the main top beam um, and placed on either corner and then we have a 12 foot four by four going up the middle um, and then we just placed the wood screws five of them here five here five there and then two lag bolts through the 4x4 in the bottom. Um, then, like I mentioned, the 42 and a half inch um, support legs. Um, and then, yeah, we did that, well, four times, but twice for this one. Um, and now we're gonna put the, this is, this started off as a 12 foot 4x6, but now it's like 10 and a half feet. Um, so we're gonna put this across the top brace it in with the metal brackets like I pointed out up there um, oh and then we also put a piece of 2 by 4 like a one foot piece to, of 2 by 4 on the outside edge um, just to help add with rigidity because it kind of it looks kind of wobbly there so we just slap that up there too um, and this one feels pretty sturdy now I mean it still wiggles a little bit but as far as being able to lift vertically it's gonna do fine I think um, so yeah so we'll start building this one. Thank you for getting all the parts together, Madison. <laughs> so we're gonna finish uh, setting this one up. We'll walk you through it, um, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is um, start by installing these metal brackets. Uh, we got them from Home Depot. They're like $5 each. I don't remember what they're called exactly. Um, looks like it says Simpson Strong Tie LCE4Z. So if you want this exact thing, got it from Home Depot. Aisle 22, bay 14 or something. Um, so we're going to put these on, um, secure it to the main cross beam with each of them, um, and then put this that outer piece of wood um, on for more support, and then the braces, and then it should be good. Um, it's actually a pretty straightforward process. It's just when you're first learning like we were with the first one, it takes way longer than it should. But, all right. Ready, Madison? Ready. Okay, um, so we finished putting on these brackets on both sides of this leg. Um, so now we're gonna put the support uh, beams. That way it's a little more sturdy whenever we go to turn it 90 degrees and put the other leg on. Right, Madison? Yeah. <laughs> She's doing a great job of holding. Okay, um, so we finished that. We got the two braces on this leg. So now we're gonna just turn it 90 degrees and try to rest it on these sawhorse tanks um, so that we can attach this other leg, literally doing exactly what we just did. Uh, the two metal braces um, and then the two um, support arms. And then once everything's together, we can put these one, one foot pieces of wood on that on that back side there, um, just to help, help with that a little bit. So and that's what we're gonna do now.
All right, so we finished both gantries. Madison was superwoman and powered them up. They're really heavy. Um, yeah, so one, two. All done. We made these from nothing. From, well, from wood and a lot of measurements, but we're done. Um, yeah, so hopefully, yeah, this, this is size comparison. Madison's like six foot five. <laughs> um, no, they are really tall though. They're about 12 feet tall, so um, yeah, we'll just leave them here. And then whenever it's time to lift the shell, we'll scoot them over around the airstream. And then we'll have the chain hoist going from the crossbar down and it's going to go through like the current um, fan vents on the roof drop through there and then we have a long 12 by 2 by 12 that's 16 feet long running the length of the trailer we'll put eye bolts in that hook the chain hoist to that and then lift straight up and then pop the shell off of that frame right down there and then keep on working keep on cleaning and we'll be good thanks okay. for following our channel Thanks for following. Thank you, Miss Jensen, for teaching us how to do math so that our calculations <laughs> came out correctly. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. Bye.